Combination Mode and Effects. The Chrome has the ability to combine together up to 16 programs on the keyboard for amazing sound power. These are called combinations, or combis for short. Go to Combination Mode. Selecting combis is done the same way as selecting programs. The value controls, the numeric keypad and enter, and touching the screen. You'll notice you have the Find function as well. And, like the programs, the combis are grouped in banks of 128 accessed from the screen or from the bank buttons. Press Exit. Selecting a combi by category is done from the screen, of course. But the combis are not only categorized by sound families like organ or keyboard, but sometimes by the type of combi, for example, bass splits or motion. Touch bass splits. All these combis have a bass sound in the lower range and a keyboard, synth, or some other sound on the top, like this first one, A03, bass and piano. They're great for performing or composing. Touch lead splits. Combis in this category have a sound in the lower range that can be sustained by the damper, and a sound in the upper range to play over top with. Touch motion. When you play a combi in this category, like this one, A13 Planet Pad, just hold a chord and the sound moves and changes. Press Exit. Use the category to show you how to play the combi. For example, select A04 Lonely Moon. A combi's name, like Lonely Moon, doesn't always tell you how to play it, but the category, Bass Splits, does. Select A11 Dino Orchestra. I spoke about a combination having a sound on the bottom and a sound on the top, but in fact, a chrome combi can be very sophisticated with multiple sounds layered together in different ranges of the keyboard, each triggered depending on how hard you play the keys. Let's solo timber 5, the timpani, of this combi. Extremely powerful. You can quickly adjust the levels and panning of the programs inside the combi. Touch the Mixer 1 through 8 tab. Like we saw before, a parameter or value can be adjusted in a few different ways. For example, by touching the value and using the value controls, or the numeric keypad, or by touching and dragging in the direction of the displayed arrows. Another way is to double tap to access the screen keypad. You can also hold down on a slider, knob, or any edit cell and release. An on-screen slider or wheel appears for you to use to adjust the value. Touch here to make it disappear. Press exit to return to the top page. Select Combi A05 Boom Pow Pad. The real-time controls work in Combi mode as well, of course. Select Combi A12 Rhythms and Bows. In program mode, you have one polyphonic arpeggiator. In combi mode, you have two, ARP A and ARP B. The real-time controls are adjusting both ARPs simultaneously for some very interesting results.
The ARPs can be turned on and off separately here. Double tap the combi name and use the on-screen keypad to select C08 Dreaming Trumpet. ARP patterns can be used in the traditional way to play musical phrases based on the notes and chords you play on the keyboard. They can also be used to trigger drum patterns. In this example, ARP A is playing a musical phrase. and ARP B is playing a drum pattern. Combies like this may not need the drum track at all, so pressing the drum track button sometimes doesn't do anything because nothing is assigned. Press Exit. However, many combis are set up with drum track as well. Select A00 Piano and Strings. Turn on the ARPs for even more inspiration. Turn off drum track and the ARP. Select A10, Pad and Distorted Guitar. The Chrome has a very sophisticated and powerful effects section. For example, we saw in program mode how each program has its own programmable EQ, short for equalizer, that adjusts the low, mid, and high frequencies of the sound. Press the page button and touch EQ and go to the EQ 1 through 8 tab. In combination mode, each sound, or timbre as they are called, has its own three band EQ, as does each track in the sequencer. By the way, pressing exit brings us back to the main page, but notice we are still on the ARP tab. Press exit again, and it takes us to the very top page. As mentioned in the program chapter, the Chrome has five insert effects, two master effects, and one total effect. Let's look at how each of these work in combination mode. Sequencer mode works the same way. Program mode works the same way, however, it's like working with a single timber. In this explanation of the effects, we'll look at how an effect is applied to a track or a timber. A track and a timber are basically the same thing. It just depends what mode you are in. If we were in sequencer mode, I would be referring to the 16 tracks. Since we are in combination mode, I'll be referring to the 16 timbers. Press Page and touch Routing IFX. IFX is short for Insert Effects. Insert Effects are used when you want to add effects directly into the signal flow. In this way, the entire timber is processed by the insert effect, similar to plugging a guitar into an overdrive distortion effect pedal. Since there are five insert effects, you may choose to chain two or more together by going here. Like plugging a guitar into a compressor effect pedal and then plugging the output of that into an overdrive distortion effect pedal. On this first tab, you choose whether a timber is routed into an insert effect or directly to the left-right outputs by adjusting this parameter called bus select. Using the bus select, you can send one timber into one effect, another into a different effect, etc. You can even send several timbers into the same effect. Touch routing 9 through 16. You can tell by the category here that timbers 10 and 11 are drum programs. Drums are a special case. When creating or editing a drum kit, you have a bus select parameter for each sound in a drum kit. So you can send the bass drum to one insert effect and the snare drum to another, for example. This is completely editable in global mode, but all the factory drum kits are already set up for you. However, you may want to briefly change the routing to suit the combi or song you are working on. 
you can do this without editing the original drum kit. For example, Timber 11 is set to LR, meaning it will ignore the drum kit's individual routing and send everything to the left-right outputs. The drum kit on Timber 10 is set to D kit, short for drum kit, so it will do the individual routings. However, even this can be changed. Touch where it says D kit. Open the command menu and select Drum Kit IFX Patch. Here, you can change the existing routing to what you need without affecting the original drum kit routing. Touch Cancel. To select the insert effects, you touch the IFX Setup tab. Then touch to the left of the effect name. The same way you select programs in program mode. The effects are grouped together in categories. By going to the IFX 1 through 5 tabs, you can edit all the parameters of each effect. Go to the Routing 1 through 8 tab. Master effects are mixed in parallel together with the dry signal coming from a timber. Master effects are accessible from all the timbers, and the amount of each of the master effects is individually adjustable for each timber. This is called the send amount. For example, if master effect 1 was a chorus and master effect 2 was a reverb, you could set how much chorus and how much reverb you want for each timber by adjusting the send 1 and send 2 of each timber here on the routing pages. Timbers 1 through 8 on this page, and Timbers 9 through 16 on this page. If a timber is routed into an insert effect, the Send 1 and Send 2 is set after the insert effect here on the IFX Setup page. Press Page, MFX TFX LFO. MFX is short for Master Effects, and TFX is short for Total Effect. You select the Master Effects here and edit them here. An additional step is required of setting the return amount for each master effect here, setting how much of the master effects will be brought back into the final mix. The total effect is at the very end of the signal path, just before the outputs. For example, you may want to adjust the overall EQ of the combi by using a parametric 4-band equalizer and adjusting it accordingly to get more or less low, middle, and high frequencies. The total effect is selected here and then edited here. Press Exit to return to the top page. There are dedicated master and total effect mute buttons to the left of the screen. Very useful for quickly removing reverb or delay, for example, when performing in a room where ambient effects aren't necessary. Mm -hmm.